Welcome back, YouTubers, and this is a review of Figma's EX025 Saber from Fate Stay Night. Now, despite the fact that it says on the box Unlimited Blade Works, this figure is actually more reminiscent of the one from Fate Stay Night, the original series. This one doesn't appear like this except in one version. You see, during the series, Saber always wore her armor over this blue tunic you can see here. And you will never see her in this in Fate Stay Night except once. And that was at the end of the original arc, just before she disappeared. She stood there with her armor off, but in this blue dress, and told Shiro that she cared about him. Now, the armor was gone because she had used her full power, channeling all her magical energy, into her final strike to help defeat Gilgamesh. And so she was no longer wearing her magical armor. So, I don't know why it's labeled as Unlimited Blade Works. Now, as you can see on the side, back here, side again, and the bottom, and the top, pretty standard box for Figma. The one problem I have with this particular figure is, especially in recent years, a lot of the more special figures like this, there are two kinds that they put out. One is the festival figures that they release for like special events where it's a completely new figure, new molds and everything. Others use existing elements from other ones to basically create a figure that's easier to produce. I'm not really sure if there's a technical term for it. But this is on the latter side, so there's a lot fewer parts for this one. For example, although it does come with a nice eight different hands here, along with the two it's got on for a total of ten, other than that, the three standard faces and an extra head and hairstyle, it only comes with two other pieces aside from the sword Excalibur in her hand. The sheath for it, Avalon, and a kendo sword, which doesn't match up as much. It would make more sense for her regular casual clothes, which is a very simple blue dress and white tunic, but this is not that one. Now, overall, it's a good figure. You can pop off the head here and stick this one on for a more normal hair style, where she's not charging forward with her sword. And her hair is straight back, as you can see. She's got a single-piece dress here, so unlike her armored version, it's sing. It's a single solid piece and not layered. Um, it makes sense with this one uh, a lot like the Nero one I reviewed a little while back because the underside here, I noticed this more after I looked at it more closely, is all one long piece. I wish they had layered it, but I can understand why it's a single piece. But that does affect mobility. You're not going to be able to make her do like a kick or anything in this thing. It's a good figure, and it's a nice addition if you're a big Saber fan, or you're like me, and just a really big fan of Fate Stay Night in total. I like this figure a lot. It's definitely a must for anyone who's a fan of the series, but if you're not a major Fate Stay Night fan or a big Saber fan, I would give it a miss, especially if you can find it, because this was a web exclusive, so you're unlikely to be able to find this one anywhere else. But it is a very solid figure, to be sure. And the kendo sword is a nice touch, because we haven't gotten that accessory on a Fate Stay Night figure or Saber since the original casual wear one, and that has been out of print for ages. It was one of the very first ones. But the other thing I like is, I like seeing Saber in her casual clothes here, because unlike the armored version, it gives her a more relaxed look, because otherwise Saber seems to be always serious. I like to see characters be able to be in a more casual look, 
And that's the one problem with wearing armored clothing like this. Characters like even Archer and Kukulin, they only have like shoulder armor or bracers or other small pieces. Sabers in a full set of plate armor on her chest, arms, and waist, and legs. So this is a nice change to her. Plus, I really just feel depressed for this character in the original Fate ending because in that ending she is basically killed off for real at the end, which I always feel is a little sad. I like it when characters don't get tragic heart grieving endings, which is why my favorite ending is the good ending of Unlimited Blade Works. Really wish they'd animate that. But otherwise, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Share this video with your friends and chat with me on Twitter at the link below. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!